Welcome back, my name is Teresa and I'm very much alive and really, really pale. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. It's fun. If you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help not to do an air horn. <laughs> I know it's annoying for some, but I love it. Okay, hi. We're gonna do a good old fashioned get ready with me. I have life updates. I know, life updates. I'm a YouTuber. It's nothing really that exciting. Yeah, it kinda is. Not really. Yes, it is. It's exciting. <laughs> Anyway, before we get into all of that and I go on and on and on, blah, 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 I want to say a very special thank you to Decca Scarlet for sponsoring today's video. I have been introduced to this brand earlier this year and I have been loving their products. Their multi chrome liquid eyeliners are amazing, okay? Amazing. And they have been a staple for me going out as of late. Listen, it's too damn hot. <laughs> To apply a bunch of different eyeshadows and look like a colorful peacock, I can't, all right? The fear of it melting down my face and looking like a melted ice cream cone, which is a sad reality, unfortunately, happens too often. <laughs> I need to make sure things stay into place and deck a scarlet. Boys, they got me covered, okay? Not only do they stay in place, but they make me look like an intergalactic hussy, and we love that for me. If you have never heard of Deca Scarlet before, they're a high performance, high quality makeup brand that's breaking the boredom of clean beauty. Deca Scarlet is 100% vegan and cruelty free. They have a list of over 1,500 ingredients that they do not use. And when you put that in perspective, that's terrifying. Terrifying for other brands that continue to use these ingredients in their products. But not Deca Scarlet, they're here to save us. They pride themselves on their badass formula and good ass ingredients. And one of my last get ready with me is I did focus on their eyeliners and their lip oils, which are like still, again, staples in my everyday. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about some different products that they have recently launched, like their Mistake Proof line, as well as these little eye pot thingy doohickeys. With that said, if you do like what you see, definitely use the code Teresa to get 20% off your first order at Deca Scarlet. Again, thank you so much to Deca Scarlet for sponsoring today's video. And y'all, please support the sponsors that support your garbage queen, okay? <laughs> Hi babies, oh my goodness, I am, so much is happening. <laughs> so much shit, not enough, but so much is happening. All right, we're gonna do a full face. I'm gonna make sure to put the little uh, boxy doohickey boy here to show you what products that I'm using and bloopity blop blop. And um, also you're gonna notice I do have like a small thingy on my eye. I got into a fight with a makeup eraser and it burned me, burned me good. And, and now I'm kind of been dealing with like this rough skin, sore, looks like somebody punched me in the face kind of a moment. So if you do see some redness there, that's what it is. I'm gonna avoid a lot of eyeshadow today because I, I wanna make sure. I was about to call her, <laughs> I don't know why I was about to call her Sylvia. I don't know why I wanted to call my eye Sylvia, but we just wanna make sure that Sylvia is good. All right, so um, yeah, we're gonna limit that. With that said, uh, how are you? What is going on? I A lot has been going on for me. <laughs> I don't know where to begin. Oh my God. Okay, actually, let me just bring my hair back. That would be beneficial. I love my little clip. You know what? I think we're gonna do the base. I know, we're gonna. this is, this is gonna be a while. We're gonna do the base first and then we're gonna do the rest of the face. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, hi. <laughs> Yo, things have been, I don't know. I feel like everything kind of got turned upside down for me. A lot has been going on. <sighs> where do I begin? All right, so if you're new to this channel, this is not my full-time job. I have a full-time job. I work in an office and that's pretty much all I wanna really talk about. I do not work in an exciting industry and some things I just wanna to keep to myself. You know, everything else I'm pretty open book about. I'll talk about my daddy issues. <laughs> talk about my husband, Paul Giamatti. Um, I'll talk about makeup brands that have wronged me. Some things I just wanna keep private. And for me, that's my job. And I do get this question a lot, like yes, some people at my job are aware that I have a channel and uh, I don't know, we don't talk about it. <laughs> it's not something that uh, is like constant conversation. I don't really think anybody really gives a shit. Doesn't impact my job or anything like that. Yes, yeah, some people do know I have a channel. Since March of 2020, I have been home. If you are new here, by the way, which by the way, I just surpassed 55,000. There's no words. I can't believe that 55,000 people know who I am. That's terrifying on a whole different level. <laughs> but I wanna say like, thank you for being a member of the garbage family. <laughs> 
going. I love this little um, place I carved out on the internet for myself where there's no bullshit. Everybody's pretty fucking cool. We're just garbage ass bitches. And I love that about my community is that we're all pretty fucking cool. To think I started my channel in 2018 and all of this has come from it, like it's mind blowing. Thank you for being a part of this weird family. Like I love and appreciate you. That said, if you are very, very new here, I'm from New York City. Hi, I'm from Queens. And honestly, it's been a complete struggle. Um, since COVID started, I feel like my whole life, my whole channel, everything kind of like got turned upside down. And I say my channel because what I used to do in the past is that when I used to do, you know, makeup reviews and such, I would also pair it with a fun story. And sometimes the story would be, you know, dealing with people that I would meet on my commute to work. Sometimes it would be like the weird things that kind of happen working in an office that people can relate to. And unfortunately, everything kind of came to a standstill in March of 2020 because I was working from home. So my channel totally changed a lot in 2020. By the way, this is the Dermablend CC Cream. Redness who, okay? Redness who? This was literally like just a couple of squirts. Again, redness who? Where did she go? I don't know her. She doesn't go here, all right? It's so funny because you actually don't really even need a lot of product because it does such a good job covering and this wears really, really well in the heat. Anyway, so my channel changed a lot because I was no longer, you know, being one with society. I wasn't having many cute interactions. Occasionally, like I would have a fun one either with an Uber Eats driver or some random fucking weirdo that was sniffing my shoes in the hallway in my apartment building. <laughs> but other than that, things have been, you know, not really that exciting. So I was scared because a lot of people really liked that aspect of my channel where I would tell these weird kind of, you know, funny stories that would happen to me and I would talk about makeup. So of course I got into a funk because my channel and my head, I felt like was over, but I have to thank y'all for giving me the confidence to just keep going on my channel. Regardless if I had a story or not, you liked hearing me talk about things because you like my personality. And to me, that's huge. It's like, wow, you guys really like me. <laughs> So with that said, I didn't feel so scared about not having the channel that I used to have. I have to pivot, I have to grow, and I have to make it entertaining. So I'm really, really appreciative of just like all the amazing feedback. I know I've been you know, trying different videos here and there, and everybody has been super supportive, giving really good constructive criticism, which I fucking enjoy and I love. So thank you for that. So this is where things kind of get a little bit interesting. One of my get readies with me, I don't know if it was this year or last year, I mentioned that I would be going back into to the office come 2021. So what happened was we just recently had a meeting where I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I, I am literally going to be able to go back into the office at the minimum twice a year for like just meetings and stuff like that. But for the most part, I am going to be alone at home. And I know in a way that that's pretty fucking amazing, okay? To think that I'm never gonna have a commute again or anything like that, I'm never gonna have the anxiety of uh, waiting for a bus or waiting for a train or dealing with somebody that is literally like shitting on the subway platform and I make eye contact with them. To think that I'm never gonna have to deal with that or see that again is honestly awesome. <laughs> It really is. Like, I know, like, um, it's funny to hear all this stuff. When it happens at that moment, it's very terrifying. It's very real. I put a fun spin on it, but it's actually really fucking wild, some of the stuff that happens in the subway. So the thought of not having to deal with that is wild to me because I thought I would always have to go back into the office and now I don't have to. So you're probably saying, well, what does that mean now? Like, what's next? I don't know. Sorry about that. I didn't realize my camera shut off. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so I just finished up the concealer and I did put a little bit of powder underneath my eyes and I went ahead and put a little concealer on top of my eye and it's, it hurts. So you know what? <laughs> we are probably going to avoid doing our eyes today, which kind of sucks because I wanted to show you these little metal leaf guys and I'll definitely do so in the future. These are a flaky formula and while it doesn't irritate my eyes when I have used them in the past, I just don't want to, I don't want to mess with her. She, she is very angry. We're going to pretend she doesn't even exist right now <laughs> and look away. So I think when it comes to eyes, I think what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of liner just above the lash line. But since I don't have to worry about fallout, let's complete my base. All right. I don't know. <laughs> you know, what's really funny. I have been dreaming of leaving New York city 
for the longest time. I'm born and raised here. I'm ready to go. It's definitely has not been the same since COVID. And I think if anything, what the last year and a half has taught me is I don't want to live in a big city anymore. I'm done. And now I have the opportunity to actually physically really leave and it doesn't feel real, but it feels real at the same time because I've always wanted it for so long and now it's here and now I'm like, oh fuck, okay. Like everything in the past has always been like, oh, if I find a job somewhere else and now that's not the case, I can take what I do with me. It's wild. <laughs> it, that, that's probably the best way that I can describe it. Like I'm feeling all the emotions for this one. But before I go into it any further, let's add some bronzer. So we're gonna go with this Mistake Proof Bronzer. There are four shades in this guy, fair, light, medium, and deep. I have it in the shade Tantric. Ooh. And it's definitely like a good uncooked chicken shade. The whole concept of like this kind of spray on bronzer is really just, we're in the future. <laughs> We're in the future, bitch. That's probably the best way that I can describe it. Now, I have not actually applied it directly to my face because I feel like that's actually a really bad idea. So they do recommend that you use the back of your hand and then, and then gently pat it on, which has been like the best method, obviously. So I'm just gonna give her a good shake and I'm gonna spray it to the back of my hand. The formula is on the runnier side, but um, she does not budge. When she's on, she is on until you take your face off, okay? <laughs> so, I do a couple of things. I can actually pat it on with my finger. It takes a little bit longer, but I can do that. Or I can use their dual-ended brush, which I believe this is like a duo fiber brush. And I just take a little bit of the product in the back of my hand, and then I wipe off the excess, because I hate to go in heavy-handed with bronzer. And I'm just gonna lightly just tap it on. I found the best method for me is to lightly tap it on and then start kind of like swirling it ever so gently. Like do not put in a lot of pressure, blend it into the area. I love that I can control the pigmentation with it. So if I want to go in with a little bit of a heavy hand, I can. I'm usually more of like a heavy handed blush bitch. <laughs> usually with my bronzer, I'm not so heavy handed, but like that's cute though, right? She's cute. Of course, what you can always do too is you can take your dampened sponge and you can go over it as well, but just looks a little bit too harsh for you. We like her, we like her. I have three different blushes that we can play with today, but I think I'm just gonna go in with one. But the first one is the shade Savage, very beautiful pink shade. The next one is the shade Relentless. This one definitely has a little bit more of, a, I guess like a peachy tone to it. I think that's what we're gonna go in with today. And then last but not least, we have it in the shade Brazen. Brazen's pretty goddamn orange. Brazen's pretty fucking cool. So, but I think for today, we are definitely going in with Relentless. So this is what she looks like. And again, very, very similar to how I did the bronzer. I'm gonna take the other side of the brush. That's more of this like dome shape. Pop it on, take some excess off. That's a lot. <laughs> I mean, I did say that I wanted to go blush heavy today. So that's what it kind of should look like. <laughs> Instead, I fucked my face up, but whatever. Let's go in with the bronzer side, tone her down a little bit. Again, kind of just doing that stamping motion, doing a light swirl, trying not to eat my hair in the process. You know, the usual. Aw, she's so cute. Hmm. I feel like somebody just pinched my cheeks. Hmm. I would say let's go in with a cream highlighter. However, this brand doesn't have that. So I'm hoping in the future they're gonna come out with a highlighter because that would be fucking amazing. But in the meantime, we're just gonna go in with Auric. And I actually got the new shade. This is the new Morganite shade. It's a little bit uh, paler than what it was a, a, initially released as, which I still love it regardless because I kind of use it more as like a glowy base, but as a highlighter, it does work, but this one is a little bit better. So I'm just gonna pop it on right there. I'm just gonna buff it out with our fingers. I like this stuff because it's just like easy, fast makeup. And since I'm going away in a couple of days, I am going to be bringing this with me because I am going to Florida. I'm not trying to, <laughs> to set my face down at all. 
So I figured cream products is gonna be the best choice for me. And also I need to let her heal. So we are not gonna really be bringing a lot of eyeshadow palettes, maybe one or two, but hopefully she'll heal up in a couple of days or so. <sighs> it doesn't help when you got a shitload of uh, eyeshadow palettes and you're like, oh, I gotta, I gotta talk about these. I gotta put them on my face. So don't be like me and put makeup on top of things that should be healing. Just saying. We are definitely glowing for the motherfucking gods. Now, you know what? I do kind of want to set my face just with a little bit of powder. So I'm going to go in with this powder from Benilico. Tried it with my Yes Style stuff. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up in the corner. It's fun. Go check it out. I'm just going to use a little bit of this just to dust off my face. Kind of remove a little bit of that shine. So what's next, right? That's a great question. <laughs> Me and Alex definitely know, me and Paul Giamatti, definitely know that we are looking to go. We know we want to go, but the question is where? We both have never left New York State, so we don't even know what other places are like other than when we've gone on vacation. And when you go on vacation to places, you know, everything is completely different from actually living in said location. So I think what we want to do is take this year to kind of figure out where's What's the next step for us? Where are we going to grow, I guess, our family? Don't get it twisted, we're not having children <laughs> or anything like that, but like, where do we wanna, I guess, plant our roots down? Or is this temporary? Maybe we're only gonna be in a place for a year or two and then we're gonna go somewhere else. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of eyeliner and I'm gonna put the multi-chrome right on top of it. Okay, now we're just gonna add a little bit of something to the lower lash line. For, I'm just grabbing my Natasha Denona one, just to the lower lash line. Look how cute I look. Kinda wanna add just a little more highlight. <laughs> also, I wanna pop this in the inner corner. I'm going in with some J-Cat. Just, just a little. Touch. All right, I think I'm pretty much done with today's look. Just let's add a lip. And here's the completed look. <clears throat> so I couldn't really do too much in the eyeshadow department, but my I thank you for not holding it against her. <laughs> I don't really know what the, the future entails. Just know that this will be my last year in New York for right now. And where I go, I don't know. But I would love for you to come on this really weird journey with me. And let's see what other weirdos we could meet in this country. Should be fun. And before I close out the video, I, again, want to say thank you for everybody's like love and support, especially for the past year and a half, like with my whole channel kind of changing and stuff like that. Just thank you for just being awesome and supportive and really incredibly lucky to have y'all in my corner. So I love you. And, um, and I actually would love to ask the question to those who have lived in a big city and then moved somewhere else. What was that like? What things should I avoid? What things, if you, if you knew then what you know now, what would you have done differently? I would love to know everything. So feel free to share your stories and stuff in the comments. I love hearing from y'all. And, uh, and again, I want to say thank you so much to Decca Scarlet for uh, sponsoring today's video. And again, if you are interested in any of the products that I talked about today, please remember to use the code Teresa to save 20% off your first order at Decca Scarlet. And with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. As always, feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, to all my beautiful, wonderful patron bubbies. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really gross, really trashy, really filthy. Garbage about a float. I couldn't do it without you. And I love your adorable little delicious faces. If you want to know what's currently on my face, along with where to get my palette, my merch, my bloopity blop blop, everything will be listed in the description box below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.